With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is if E0 AU positive to AU is 1.69 volt and AU 3 positive to AU is 1.4 volt then E0 for AU positive to AU 3 positive will be. So in this question we have given the two standard reduction potentials and we have to find out the reduction potential for this reaction. So first is given that AU positive plus electron it forms solid and E0 for this reaction that is AU positive to AU that is given 1.69 volt. This is given and this is also given that AU3 positive plus 3 electrons it is forming AU. So its reduction potential value is given as 1.4 volt. But we want the reduction potential value as for this reaction. So now if we this reaction is so reduction potential for this will be AU positive to AU because we want the AU positive on left side that is AU positive it will be oxidized to AU that is gold 3 positive. So that value is 1.69 volt and we want AU3 positive on the right hand side. So if we reverse this value this will be AU sorry this would be the oxidation, reduc oxidation reaction that is it is oxidized to 3 electrons. 3 positive and 3 electrons will be released. Now this is the oxidation reaction and this is given the reduction potential. So we have to reverse this. It means it will be AU to AU3 positive. So that will be minus 1.4 volt. Now if we add these two equations. So this will become this AU will be cancelled. Now we have AU positive it is giving AU3 positive plus 2 electrons. Now we have to find out e, E0 for AU2, AU positive to AU3 positive. This is our net reaction. Now we know that delta G is equal to delta G0 is minus NF E0 of cell that standard change in Gibbs free energy is equals to minus of number of electrons that are involved f is fat is constant e0 cell is the standard electrode potential now if we write delta g1 for this reaction and delta g2 for this reaction and delta g3 for this final reaction so we can say that delta g3 that will be the combination or the sum of delta G1 and delta G2 because we have added these two equations. So delta G3 will be minus N3 F E3. Let's say its electrode potential. Suppose this is E1, this is E2 and this is E3. And delta G1 will be equals to minus N1 F E1. And this will be equal to minus plus minus N2 E E2 and F. So if we take F common, so it will be cancelled. So we will have minus F will be cancelled. So we will have N3 E3 equals to N1 E1 plus N2 E2 and we have to calculate the value of E3. So it will be N1 E1 plus N2 E2 divided by N3. So this is the formula to calculate D electrode potential for the net reaction if the electrode potential E1 and E2 are given for half cell reactions. Now we know that N1 is equal to 1, 1 electron is involved, N2 is equal to 3 and N3 is equal to 2 and we have to calculate E3, E1 and E2 are also known. So E3 will be N1 value is 1 E1 value is 1.69 volt plus N2 value is 3 and this value is minus 1.40.
E2 value because that is the oxidation potential divided by N3 that is 2. So this will give us 1.69 minus 4.2 divided by 2. This value is equal to 1.205. So E3 that is the electrode potential for AU positive to AU3 positive that is equals to 1.205. 5, sorry 255 volt this is 255 volts so e3 for this reduction potential sorry oxidation potential for au positive to au3 positive is 1.255 volts so correct answer to this question is c option 1.255 votes. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.